This is going to be a response to Pink Elephant's video, which was a response to my video, Keep It Out of My Face. I'm just going to listen to your video and make points as I go along. Uh, the first point I covered in my last video, I wasn't giving advice, I'm telling how I feel. Next thing, you said that this is the type of thing that um, enables bad behavior in black men. Well, first of all, this is way bigger than black men. And I'll say this, I have never dealt exclusively with black guys. I could add a little bit more to that, but I don't want the video to get geared off in another direction. I just want to stay with this topic. I'll just leave it at that I've never dealt exclusively with black men. Next thing, this situation isn't about black people. Hillary Clinton is a Carmella. Carmella Soprano is a Carmella, and they're both white. This very thing happens in white families. They just don't talk about it. This is something that takes place for many politicians' wives, or uh, the wives of celebrities, or the wives of big CEOs. This is definitely not a black thing. Here's what black people mess up on as far as dealing with cheating. They don't require commitment, and when I say commitment, marriage. Black women will put up with a cheating guy that they're not even married to. There's a difference between, I marry this guy, we intertwine our wealth, we build a home together, we have children together, but he goes, gets a little on the side every now and again, and I don't necessarily even know about it. That's different than black women, and I won't even say black women, I'll just say women. That's different than a woman sleeping with a single man that they know is sleeping with other chicks. If a single guy knows that he can go from chick to chick and they'll accept it, then yeah, that's very enabling because why would he ever commit? He doesn't have to. He can have his cake and eat it too. That situation right there is not a Carmela situation. You can't make demands on a single man. You can't demand, oh, you need to be home by this time. You need to do this. On what grounds? Fuck you. I do what I want. I'm single. I ain't married to you. And another thing that messes black people up, and this time I do have to say black people, is that these women are getting pregnant by these men and having children. Again, that is such a different thing than what I'm talking about. You having kids with a guy who's got absolutely no commitment to you at all? That's not a Carmella. That's a baby mama. Don't confuse a Carmella with a baby mama. Don't confuse Hillary Clinton with Lauren London and Nivea and all them chicks that Lil Wayne got pregnant. Next point you made, you said this is like giving them the green light to cheat. Again, this is something, this is a stance you take after you discovered your mate has cheated. This is not something you say at the beginning of a relationship, you know, if you cheat on me, I'm fine with it. No. This is a reaction to cheating. So no, I'm not going to go out on a date with a guy and tell him, you know, I have an open door policy or something like that, because then I might end up with a man whore. I want a man who knows he's expected to be faithful, but if I find out that he's not, I'm not going to go ape shit over it. So again, this is my reaction to cheating. Next point, you said something like, if you give the green light to cheat, then you can't get mad if they cheat. Well, that's not true. Yes, I can. And I'll tell you why. I can't get mad about something I don't know about. Don't forget about the keep it out of my face part. If I'm constantly finding evidence of cheating, that might be a hint to me that you're a man whore, and I don't want a man whore. Like I said in my other video, there's a difference between taking a sip of alcohol and being alcoholic. The next point you made is a good one about the emotional attachment, but there's one flawed thing about what you're saying. Again, my stance is a reaction to cheating. So let's say that I'm an Ellen. Tiger Woods was cheating on her and she didn't want it to be going on at all. Now, he could have been cheating on her and making emotional connections with those women anyway. And it has nothing to do with how she felt about it. Whether your husband's cheating on you behind your back and you don't know, or you do know and you just turn a blind eye to it, he still could get emotionally involved with another woman. There's nothing I can do about that. There's no stance I can have that can prevent that. So it's a good point you're making about women being emotionally attached. And sometimes men do have affairs with women who can't let go. But that goes back to the keep it out of my face part. If I'm getting calls to the house or getting confronted by chicks that you're boning, then you're not keeping it out of my face. And I'm going to have a problem with that. I'm not going to put up with being harassed by your whores. I'm not going to have my children see some bitch riding by the house honking the horn and all that shit. I'm not going to deal with slashed tires, dented in windows, strange phone calls, none of that. Keep it out of my face. The next point you make is similar is that if you quote unquote allow your man to cheat and he feels comfortable with it, then he might start to build emotional relationships with these other women. Mm, maybe. But again, you have to remember a lot of politicians wives, a lot of celebrity wives, a lot of big CEO wives, they have this quote unquote arrangement with their husbands. A lot of people, especially non-blacks, have this arrangement, but they just don't talk about it. Let's go back to slavery. Yeah, I'm taking it there. Slave girl turns up with a half-white baby. Now, the slave owner's wife knows goddamn well where that baby came from. 
Now, I know it was a different time back then when people just didn't get divorces, but that's how I feel today. I ain't with this divorce shit. I'm not saying I'll put up with just anything in a marriage. I sure as hell won't, but I'm not going to break up over every little bump in the road. Next point you made, you said, if you know that he's off with another woman, you may think they're just sleeping with each other, but they might be making an emotional connection. First of all, I'm not going to be knowing. And this is not the type of situation where I'm going to make a space in our relationship for him to have time with other women. Again, the key word or key idea in all of this is I'm not going to be knowing about this, okay? The minute I know something's going on, that's a problem. And we're going to need to have a talk and figure out what we're doing here. We need to renegotiate what type of relationship we're trying to have here. Maybe we will decide that we need to go our separate ways and unfortunately divorce. Or maybe we'll decide we'll stay together with just kind of be partners rather than lovers. Whatever. It just depends on what we decide when we talk. Bottom line, you can't keep your man from leaving you if he's going to leave you. Like the song says, I can't make you love me if you don't. Now I'll address something that you didn't really bring up in your video, but it's relevant. What about my own emotional feelings? What if this happens and I tell the guy, you know, just keep it under wraps, but then I can't handle it? That may happen. I've never had to deal with a cheating man. I mean, I'm not saying I've never been cheated on, but at least I don't know about it. So I don't really know exactly how I would react if I'm really confronted with it but I feel like I'm a Carmella. I may very well be in Ellen Woods and not know it but I feel like I'm a Carmella. If it gets to that point and I can't handle it then we'll have to have that talk. Look I can't handle this you're gonna have to stop. If he can't stop then I guess we have to break up or something. But uh like I said I feel like I'm a Carmella. The rest of your video I pretty much agree with without any exception. You definitely gotta keep yourself up for your man. You can't think that just because you got the ring now, you can just let yourself go to shit. Another thing that you didn't mention that might cause cheating is that when women use sex as a reward and punishment thing. Like, oh, you did this, well, you ain't gonna get none for a month. D don't do that. But anyway, that about sums it up for my response to your video. I hope that clears things up. If not, hit me back. Oh yeah, one more thing I wanted to say. There's a lot more Carmelas out there than will admit it. And a lot of them just don't know that they are Carmelas until it actually happens to them. Yeah, you talk a tough game about what all you're going to do if it happens, but then when it happens, it's a totally different ball game. 